Hello guys, welcome to this series of videos that will show you some useful tips and tricks to use EagleCAD more efficiently for PCB design. Today I'm going to be showing you how to group multiple items and change different parameters simultaneously rather than doing it one item at a time. So in this example I have already laid out my board and I'm going to use this useful tool that Eagle has called Manufacturing that's going to show you what the PCB is going to look like once you send it out for production. Now you can see that my reference designators, which are the identifiers of each component on my board, are just all over the place. Let's just go ahead and fix that. First thing you want to do is isolate the layer where you have the reference designators. Right now, in my case, they are in layer 25 by default. So I'm going to group these items, and then I'm going to go to my change tool. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to put them on the layer where I have my silt screen. That's on layer 21. Click on that, select OK. Then you right click anywhere on the board and then click on change group. That's going to bring them bring to the new layer. That's why they disappeared because I don't have my layer 21 enabled. So let's go ahead and enable that one. Now, in order to change a new parameter, the only thing you have to do is go ahead and click on the group function again and it'll automatically select all of them by you. Then go back to your change tool. Now let's just go ahead and make them size 32. Once again, right click, change the group, and there you have it. Let's also change the font to make sure they are all proportional. And there you have it. Let's see how it looks on our PCB viewer. Much better. Now, once you have everything the way you want it, you can rearrange the reference designators so that they are better organized. In order to do that, I like to have these three layers enabled if you only have one sided PCB. And that way you can just move each reference designator anywhere you want where you think it's more appropriate. So you can see that U1 is all all the way down here. Let's just go ahead and bring it up closer to the IC. And maybe we can just move X1 on this side. Now let's see what that looks like. Much better. Well, this is it guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you liked it. See you next time.